What's up guys, this is Taco Sniper, uh, bringing you a deck profile of my Revenger Shadow Paladin deck. Uh, I know it's a rather simple deck, uh, made a couple of little changes that uh, probably everybody has toyed with. I've got a lot of criticism for one of my choices, but it is what it is. So let me go ahead and get into it. Uh, start off I run two starters uh, Creeping Dark Goat and Frontline Revenger Claudus I do this for my locals because this allows me in a best of three setup to change my starters if I come up against something that has early retire power uh, a lot of times players will hesitate uh, to retire a Claudus whereas they will not hesitate to retire the Creeping Dark Goat. Uh, personal choice, it works for me. Uh, in a best of one, I would pick one or the other, probably Goat. Uh, simply because I want the opportunity to search for that grade three, which also thins the deck. Uh, so you know, in logistics, it is what it is. Uh, you'll see that Claudus also has a very good spot into being a starting vanguard in a best of one with my lineup, which you will see earlier. Uh, see in just a few moments. Uh, grade ones. We have your four Dorrance. I mean, that's typical. Uh, she is great with Blaster Dark Revenger. Uh, four Transient Revenger Masquerade. Your 10k attacker. Uh, 7k booster. I mean, uh, most of the decks we see now are far away from AK Vanillas, so you know this is what most decks are gonna you're gonna see go for. Uh, of course, your four Dark Revenger Maclear. Perfect guards. There's no really explanation there. And wrapping it up is one. Uh, Malice Revenger Dylan. Uh, that's just to fill in the last spot. I don't like Bellbirth or Brown Ball, so you know that's what I run. Grade twos, typical. Uh, four 12k attackers. Nullity Revenger Masquerade. Uh, at this point, you know 12k grade twos are staple in 99% of decks. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, next is three Blaster Dark Revengers. I only play three because of the next card that I play at four. Uh, this is also the reasoning where Claudus can also actually be good as a starting vanguard in a best of one series and that's why you also see a lot of a majority of the shadow paladin decks that are playing uh, Claudus still play four but with the choices that I've made you can actually successfully go down to three and it still be a potent combination to not have to worry about not having it or anything else and lastly, four Dark Cloak Revenger Tartus. Uh Now, I run four. This is where I've been criticized the most. Uh, running four Tartus over three and not running four dark, uh, Blaster Dark Revengers. Uh, I would much rather, 
mid and late game be able to successfully and consistently make columns over the possibility of using a tar to counter blasting two to bring out a dorant and then laying a blast you know popping that blaster dark over the tar to to get that counter blast one retire this right here makes a steady consistent column and does what it's was supposed to do and it does it consistently that was enough for me to run four uh grade threes we know this is coming for uh illusionary avenger mortgage phantom break ride great low cost good effect 13k when it attacks it's just wonderful and of course four revenger raging form dragons this card i believe is one of the most overpowering cards currently in english print descendant is a phenomenal card i believe that these two cards are currently the best grade three vanguards in the game uh, anybody can question dope that's all well and good I'm a former dope player dope is extremely good I believe that this is better uh, for the consistency of the deck this is in my opinion the best card to go with uh, I run uh, 8 crit, 4 draw, 4 heal. Uh, I'm not going to show you all that. We all know what those are. Uh, so, that's it. I mean, don't really know what else to say. The deck is very consistent. You know, uh, honestly, no matter how I test it, it's consistent. So, I mean, to me, it's worth the hype, it's worth the money, and I probably would not hesitate to spend this kind of money on a deck that is this consistent. Uh, I recommend anybody trying this deck. It's simple, it's consistent, and it is tough to play uh, Just letting everybody know, Team Sentinel, will be in Atlanta for the team regionals. Uh, we will have two teams participating. Uh, I'm not going to tell you if we're defenders or invaders, but we have six very good team members. Uh, going to try to go all out and see how far we can get in this. So, Taco Sniper, Team Sentinel. Play hard or go home.